What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. The Thundermans burst onto our TV screens back in 2013, bringing with it a superhero family trying to live an ordinary life in the not-so-ordinary town of Hiddenville. Picture this, parents Hank and Barb attempting to hide their superpowers, while their five kids grapple with theirs. It's like trying to juggle flaming torches while riding a unicycle. An everyday challenge, right? Fast forward to 2018 and the show wrapped up, but don't fret, the cast has been busy. From Reno 911 to the award-winning film The Beguiled, they've been all over the place just like superheroes on a mission to save the day. Now hold on to your capes because Nickelodeon Studios just dropped a bombshell. The Thundermints are making a superpowered comeback with a feature-length movie, The Thundermints Return. They even unveiled an exclusive poster, giving us a sneak peek at the hero's new threads. Kira Kosserin, aka Phoebe Thunderman, is rocking a blue suit with red detailing. And there's a tantalizing new movie coming in 2024 tagline up top. But wait, there's more, VidCon in the mix! Kosserin is set to dazzle at the event. Can you imagine the buzz when superhero fans converge? Now about the movie, it promises to be a wild ride. The Thundermans are back, but things go topsy-turvy when a heroic save takes an unexpected turn. <laughs> oh, by the way, this is Balfour. I have your family. Oh. No. I will have my Hank and Barb are thrilled about their return, Billy and Nora seek the joys of a normal high school life, and Max and Phoebe? Well, they're dead set on regaining their superhero status. Expect fresh villains and familiar places, plus the original cast reprising their roles. As if that wasn't enough excitement, the movie's being whipped up by a fantastic team including executive producer Kira Kosserin and Trevor Kirshner in the director's chair. So folks, get ready for The Thunderman's return! It's a reunion for the ages, tailor-made for old fans and newbies alike. The superhero family is flying back into action and it's landing on Paramount Plus in 2024. Suit up, it's going to be electrifying! Now let's spill the tea on why Nickelodeon's The Thundermans came to an end. Two years after she retired her superhero cape, Kira Kosserin threw TikTok into a frenzy by slipping back into her Phoebe Thunderman getup. It hit fans like a blast from the past, and even Kira herself couldn't help but find it a tad surreal. During an exclusive chat with J14 in June 2020, she spilled the beans saying, Believe it or not, I haven't rocked that outfit in ages, but out of nowhere, I felt this irresistible urge to do it for the Wipe It challenge. It just felt too perfect to resist. Naturally, this unexpected return to the superhero suit had fans buzzing about the possibility of a reboot. Could the Thundermans make a grand return? Well, Kira wasn't entirely sure if it would make sense to bring back the show in its original form, but she did tease the idea of a cool reunion special with the original cast or even a spin-off version. Imagine the Thundermans navigating adulthood with their superpowers. That would be a twist worth waiting for. Now let's dive into the juicy backstory of why the Thundermans came to a close in 2018. Grab your superhero-sized popcorn because we're about to spill the tea on why this beloved show bid farewell to our screens. First things first, the decision to end a show as iconic as the Thundermans is never taken lightly. It's like trying to put out the bad signal on Gotham City's skyline, you, you don't do it without a good reason. One key factor was the natural progression of the storyline. The Thundermans had been through four incredible seasons of battling villains, keeping secrets, and navigating the ups and downs of growing up with superpowers. It's like eating your favorite ice cream, eventually you reach the last scoop in the tub. The cast and crew had poured their hearts and souls into creating the superhero family's adventures, and they wanted to ensure they ended the series on a high note rather than stretching it thin until it lost its magic. Imagine having a special superpower, you wouldn't want to overuse it, right? Another reason was the cast's desire to explore new horizons. After being superheroes in Hiddenville for years, 
it's only natural that they'd want to spread their wings and tackle fresh challenges. Kira Kosserin, Jack Griffo, Addison Reek, Diego Velasquez, Maya LaClore, Chris Tolman, and Rosa Blasi, they're all incredibly talented individuals who were ready to showcase their abilities in different projects. But here's the fantastic part. The Thundermans family didn't disband entirely. While the show concluded, the cast members continued to dazzle us with their talents in various TV shows, movies, and other exciting endeavors. It's like seeing your favorite superheroes in different costumes and settings, still saving the day in their own unique ways. So there you have it, the Thundermans wrapped up not because it lost its spark, but because it wanted to leave us with unforgettable memories and let its cast soar to new heights. It was a bittersweet goodbye, but as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. What happened during the series finale? The series finale, aptly titled The Thunder Games, was a thrilling conclusion to the Thundermen's superhero journey. In this epic episode, the family found themselves competing in the high-stakes Z-Force Championships, where their superhero skills were put to the test like never before. As the episode unfolded, Phoebe and Max, the teenage twins at the heart of the show, decided to put their sibling rivalry aside and form an alliance. Their goal? To not only win the competition, but also change the name from Z-Force to T-Force, signifying their ascent as the new superhero leaders. It was a heartwarming and action-packed way to wrap up the series, showcasing the growth of the Thundermans as a family and as individual superheroes. The finale captured the essence of the show, the importance of family, unity, and using their extraordinary abilities for the greater good. So while the Thundermans bid farewell to their Z-Force days, they left a lasting legacy as T-Force, ensuring that their superhero adventures would continue, even if not on our screens. It was a lifting and memorable ending to a series that had captured the hearts of fans worldwide. Between those years, did the Thundermans cast change or not? Let's do a quick superhero check-in. First up, Kira Kosserin, our beloved Phoebe Thunderman, traded her superhero attire for a musical career. She's been making tunes and even signed with Republic Records. Yes, you read that right. She's officially a music sensation. It all started when a Republic Records rep heard her Spotify hit, First Love Never Lasts. Talk about a superhero melody. Meanwhile, Jack Griffo, who rocked the role of Max Thunderman, is rocking a different stage these days. He is now the frontman of the band Kid Baron. If you've been on YouTube, you might have spotted his cover songs before he donned the superhero cape. He's also keeping his acting chops sharp with roles like Dylan in Alexa and Katie, and starring alongside Ryan Philippi in the second. Plus, he's got a horror film in the works, Don't Log Off. A Zoom party with a twist, perhaps? Now remember Nora, the youngest Thunderman sibling? Well, Addison Reek, the actress behind her, has grown up. She turned 18 and has been busy wowing us on the big screen. She was in The Beguiled alongside Nicole Kidman and starred in the hilarious Banana Split. And there's more, catch her in the thriller The Man in the White Van with Sean Astin and Ali Larder. She's not just a superhero, but a rising star in her own right. Last but not the least, Diego Velasquez, our speedy Billy Thunderman, has had a different pace since his superhero days. He joined the web series Zoe Valentine as magic enthusiast Brody Clements and has a couple of acting credits under his belt, including the short film Astro Kid and the upcoming feature Hail the Squash, which sounds as quirky as it gets. And here's a heartwarming twist! Noah Centineo, the heartthrob from Netflix's To All the Boys I've Loved Before, became pals with Diego Velasquez while visiting Jack Griffo on the set of The Thundermans back in 2013. They're as close as superhero brothers and even celebrated Diego's 18th birthday together in 2019. Talk about a super friendship! And there you have it, the incredible journey of the Thundermans cast after their superhero days. From soaring into the music scene to lighting up the silver screen, they've proven that superheroes can conquer any role. Thank you for joining us on this thrilling adventure through the lives of Kira Kosserin, Jack Griffo, Addison Reek, and, and Diego Velasquez. 
If you enjoyed this supercharged update, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting stories from the world of entertainment. Keep your capes ready because you never know when these superheroes might make a comeback. Until then, stay tuned for more fantastic tales from the world of showbiz. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.